In this video, we'll demonstrate the capabilities of Pliant Automation and its interaction with ServiceNow for ITSM management, InfoBlox for IP address management, and VMware's vCenter to automate the creation of a virtual machine. We're going to demonstrate the use of ServiceNow's catalog items, its approval process, and the Pliant Automation to allow the user to select an OS that they would like on their virtual machine the subnet on which the virtual machine should reside, and a host name for the virtual machine. Part of this automation selects an IP address from the available pool and info blocks for the subnet specified. Then, using an action block in Pliant, we automatically update our bind DNS server. Lastly, we'll update the CMDB in ServiceNow with the information of our newly created virtual machine. Let's see how all this works. On the screen, we see the Pliant Automation dashboard on the left, and on the right, we see the ServiceNow catalog which will allow us to select the size of the virtual machine we're interested in. In this case, we have three sizes of virtual machine we can select from. Our large VM has two CPU cores, 4 gig of RAM, and 80 gig of disk, while our medium has two CPU cores, 2 gigs of RAM, and 20 gig of disk, and our small is one CPU core, one gig of RAM, and eight gigs of disk. Let's build a medium-sized VM for this demo. First, we select the operating system we would like. I have my choice of CentOS 7 or Ubuntu 18.04. Next, I'll select the IP subnet that I would like the machine to reside in. And lastly, I can specify the host name of the virtual machine. I'll call it My Machine. Once I've made my selections on the type of machine I want to build, we can come up to the upper right-hand corner and select the Order Now. Once ordered, you see on the screen we get a request number for our order. If I click on the order number, we will get the details of the order, including the status, which shows that it has been approved for building. On the bottom, we have a task ID that I can click on to see the status of our build. So you can see we have successfully assigned an IP address for our virtual machine. You can see that the status update is working and that the ticket is changed from open to work in progress as we build the virtual machine. If we toggle over to vCenter, we can see that the VM is in process of building. Coming over to Pliant on the left side of my screen and clicking the Logs tab, I can see that the ServiceNow VM provisioning workflow is running. If we toggle to the actual workflow, you can see the action blocks we've dragged into the workflow to build out this automation. One of the first action blocks we use is the ServiceNow patch table block, which allows us to update ServiceNow as we perform the automation. In Pliant, one workflow can actually call another workflow as part of the routine. Here we see the next IP address workflow being called, which interacts with InfoBlox to determine the IP address that we are going to assign to our virtual machine. We then call the bind update workflow, which takes the IP address from InfoBlox, the host name that we entered into the form we had in ServiceNow, and creates an entry on our bind DNS server so that we can address the virtual machine by name rather than IP address when the workflow is finished. We then use the ServiceNow patch table block to update ServiceNow in real time. As you can see, that's happening on the right side of my screen. Lastly, we call the workflow build VM. If you look on the right side of the screen, you can see that that is now completed. If we look at the list of virtual machines in my vCenter console on the right here, you can see that we've created a virtual machine called My Machine. And if we click on the settings, you can see that we have the CPU, memory, and disk we specified when we filled out our request. Returning to our ServiceNow page, we can see that the status has been updated and that the request ticket status has been changed to closed. With the request ticket closed and the work completed, let's go over to the ServiceNow configuration items database and make sure our workflow updated the CMDB to include the new virtual machine and its info. We can see that my machine with an IP address of 192.168.210.2 has been put in the CMDB and we can see that it was created by the Pliant Automation Workflow. 
To recap, in this video, we use the standard action blocks that ship with Appliant Automation Platform to automate the creation of a virtual machine. We assign the IP address from predefined range of addresses in our InfoBlocks IPAM solution. We updated our Bind DNS server with the host name and corresponding IP address, and we also updated the ServiceNow CMDB with the new asset we just created. Pliant is a low-code solution that provides drag-and-drop building blocks, or action blocks as we like to call them, for hundreds of different vendors, enabling our users to quickly and easily build complicated workflows like the one in this video. Pliant allows you to build integrations in minutes, not hours, days, or weeks. Thank you.